Hey, it's Tyler from ActiveBeat, and today I want to dig into the subject of antioxidants and free radicals. How often have you come across a health article that mentions how food is full of antioxidants and how this helps fight free radicals? That sure sounds good, wouldn't you say? But what are free radicals? What are they doing in my body and are they supposed to even be there? Let's get into the science of it. In this video, I'll be focusing on what antioxidants and free radicals are exactly, how they interact and what this has to do with your health. Antioxidants and free radicals have some things in common. For starters, they are both chemicals, both are found naturally in your body, and the production of both can also be increased by diet and environment respectively. In terms of the relationship between the two, antioxidants are what blocks the activity of free radicals. Okay, that's sort of simple, right? Free radicals are bad guys, antioxidants are good guys, and they stop free radicals from doing what they do. But what do free radicals do, and why are they bad? Are they bad? Let's find out. Free radicals are highly reactive chemicals that can harm cells. A lot of scientific research has looked at how the damage free radicals can do might be linked to the development of cancer and other health conditions. Basically, a free radical comes to be when a molecule or atom either gains or loses an electron. Here's a quick chemistry overview. You've got all kinds of cells in your body and they're made of different molecules and atoms. Atoms have electrons surrounding them in an outer shell and the characteristics of that shell is what makes it bond with other atoms. Make sense? Hope so, because I'm moving forwards. When a weak bond between atoms splits, sometimes it creates a free radical that is looking for an electron, and so it goes on the hunt and attacks the nearest molecule to sort of steal an electron in hopes of stabilizing. And this starts a reaction of the next molecule doing the same thing. But this happens naturally in your body, and is actually important to normal cell processes, especially to neutralize viruses and bacteria. Here's the thing, high levels of free radicals can become a threat to the components that make up cells. Environmental factors can increase your free radical count, such as cigarette smoke and general environmental toxins and pollutants. So what are antioxidants? Antioxidants are primarily known for neutralizing free radicals, stopping them from causing damage. The body naturally creates antioxidants. These are known as endogenous antioxidants. These alone aren't quite enough to do the job though, and that's where dietary supplements and certain foods come in. Plenty of foods can supply antioxidants, such as blueberries, red kidney beans, cranberries, blackberries, raspberries, some apples like Granny Smith and Red Delicious, broccoli, garlic, green tea, and more. As the name suggests, antioxidants are capable of preventing or slowing the oxidation of other molecules, generally trapping free radicals from continuing their destructive behavior. So how does this all relate to your health? Well, a lot of scientific study has gone into investigating if there's a relationship between increased antioxidant consumption decreased free radicals, and if this could help prevent cancer, among other diseases. When it comes to such studies, you might want to consider approaching the results with caution, as it's a bit of a mixed bag. There have been some animal studies that have seen an increase in antioxidants helping to prevent some free radical damage that could be associated with cancer development. But when it comes to human trials, there has been no conclusive evidence to support the idea that antioxidant supplements are beneficial in cancer prevention. However, it's worth noting that many studies gave participants a purified antioxidant and not foods that are high in antioxidant content. There may be something to be said about the antioxidant content of foods and how it interacts with the vitamins and minerals found within that food, but that has yet to be discovered. If you're not sure where you stand with antioxidants, the first thing you should do is consult your physician. In general though, foods that are high in antioxidants are also pretty good for you in other ways too. Remember, everything in moderation. What are your thoughts on antioxidants? Add your voice in the comments, we want to know what you think. That's all for now, thanks for watching. If you haven't joined the ActiveBeat team yet, we'd love to have you subscribe, and don't forget to check out our related videos. Until next time.